two years ago in response to the high rate of suicide among veterans in El Paso County. The legislature provided funding to create Next Chapter. The nonprofit provides a variety of services much quicker than the VA ever could. The goal when it was funded by the legislature in 2022 was to assist 700 veterans in the first three years, almost two years into the program. Next Chapter has already helped around a thousand. A special event at Coors Field tonight could give Next Chapter a big boost toward helping even more. Batter up! Barb Bedsall is live <laughs> in Denver to tell us all about healthy swings. Good evening, Bart. Yeah, guys, it starts around 6.30 tonight, and basically it's a home run derby, except lucky for me, you don't actually have to hit a home run to generate money. Here's how it works. They're going to set up some markers on the field behind me, one by the pitcher's mound for around $50, one by the infield dirt, probably $100, maybe around $700 in the outfield. And you see, already see a couple of banners out there in the outfield, $3,000 generated if you hit a home run. Next chapter in El Paso and Pueblo County is the beneficiary of this year's UC Health Healthy Swings event. And you're about to hear from a woman who has benefited tremendously from Next Chapter. She hopes telling her story will actually motivate others like her to come forward and seek help as well. Hello. Watching her work at the Springs Rescue Mission, you would probably never guess what Kathleen McCluskey has been through. She joined the Army out of high school, starting at Fort McClellan in Alabama, part of a group trained in responding to chemical and biological weapons. But her family situation forced her out. The start of a difficult stretch that ended with her staying here as a client, an experience that took its toll. The trauma that got you there is one thing, and then realizing I'm in a homeless shelter. And not having the tools to deal with those things can lead you to self-medicate and self-destruct. After staying clean for 18 years, she was once again addicted to drugs, which led to trouble with the law. But that experience in the legal system actually led to a breakthrough. The district attorney's office here has something called Veterans Trauma Court, where instead of jail time, veterans who meet a certain criteria are given a chance to participate in various programs. And one of those programs is Next Chapter. Between vet court and Next Chapter, I would not be here without them. I wouldn't. She's able to process the difficult things that happened to her during a time when she was in the military and definitely feel better about being a veteran in our community. Program director Damian McCabe, a veteran himself, says next chapter isn't a get out of jail free card, but those willing to put in the work are rewarded. Through next chapter, she's been able to meet all the stipulations court put on her and she's gonna graduate from the Veterans Trauma Court Rehabilitation Program in about two weeks and be free from all of those legal implications that came as part of her transition. Kathleen received emergency assistance as well as counseling, but also something that only Next Chapter could offer. I'm in there with other soldiers and Marines and airmen, and there's a different kind of bond there's a different kind of connection. There's a there's a there's an unspoken. I get it. It and it's a beautiful thing. It's it's amazing. She carries a reminder of it on her keychain. And whether it's offering clothing or encouraging clients to attend programs, she is now using her experience to help others. I was homeless. I was on drugs. I have had trauma. We've all had trauma, everybody to a different degree, but we've all been through it. And it's, it's something I tell a lot of the clients that come through at work, you're worth fighting for. Last Saturday marked one year that Kathleen has worked full time at the Springs Rescue Mission. Clearly she has turned her life around. She's a great success story from Next Chapter. And hopefully tonight we can generate some funding to make even more success stories in El Paso and Pueblo County. By the way, if you're a veteran who's struggling with your own transition out of the military, you're not alone and Next Chapter can help. You can find out a lot of information on how to reach out to them on our website, krdo.com. Absolutely Colorado is a partnership in your community between KRDO and Gold Hill Mesa.